today in my craft room I'm going to be going through these bins. They're bins of embellishments. They're in color order and then this last one here is just a bin of random stuff. So I'm going to start with purple. This is the one that I have the least amount of stuff in. So let me just set up the camera and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so we have the purple bin. Now, may I start off with saying that my daughter turned on the shower above my head. So these videos aren't going to be completely perfect, but if I worry about every detail of the quality of these videos, I'm never going to get my house cleaned up. All right, so we've emptied the bucket. And this is what we have with my purple items. So let's just go through and let's just be honest of what I would actually use if I was scrapbooking something today. All right, first thing I see is a cat bowl. Well, we don't own a cat, so guess what? That's gonna go. Once I get all the buckets done, I'll see how much I have left and see what type of um, storage I'm gonna need for them. So this is pretty good. Going away, keeping. The next bin I'm deciding to go through is my silver and gold bin. Some of the stuff, like these bells, these were left over from when I did my craft kits. And I have quite a few of those, but that's kind of neat. And you could always do something um, at Christmas with bells. So I will hang on to those. This I used for um, my crates and it's just really soft. I like it. Bells and the paper clips. That's now my silver drawer. And so far, I got rid of all of this. All right, this is black. These are kind of cute. And they're flat and they're nice stickers. I could use those for like a Disney parade page or something, but these can go. So these I'm gonna keep. All right, this stuff here. The only way to do it is to dump it out. Countdown roller coaster. Oh, definitely have to keep that. The 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 ones that I find hard to work with are these like heavy cardstock ones. So I'm gonna let those go. Just because they're so thick, and then if you put all these thick things in um, your scrapbook, then there's no room for anything. So I'm basing these decisions on the fact that I've done some Project Life stuff before and I get really hung up on the embellishments of stuff and it kind of weighs me down mentally and then I don't get anything done. So I think I'm just going to focus a lot on my journaling and maybe I should just draw some stuff that go in my pages. Okay, these are adorable, keeping those. For my black stuff, that's it. White. Okay, I have some snowmen that I am just not going to use. I have this stuff, which I have no idea what it is. I might keep that. Oh, and the airplane is cute. Oh, taxi and the letter. I like all those. The rest of this can go. Silk flowers. I've never used silk flowers. And as for big buttons, when am I ever going to use giant white buttons? I'm not. Those can go. Okay, so all the white things. This is what I got rid of. And this is what I'm keeping. The brown bucket. Here we go. Get rid of brown things. A bunch of stuff in here. There's Christmas that went with that other stuff. I'll hang on to that. Okay, this little ice cream is cute. And the kitchen stuff, but a little guitar. Uh, a whole bunch of little beavers. Cute snowman. That, that is my brown bin. I'll do yellow next. Those other five that I did, I did purple, silver and gold, the black, white, and brown. Those five bins now fit into one. So that's crazy. Okay, foam, little pieces I'm not going to use. These I'm not going to use. A lot of the stuff came from 
QVC. I ordered like some scrapbook kit and I thought it was better quality than it was, but it was like a whole bunch of things like this and just not a fan. So this is what I'm keeping and this is all going away. Orange bucket. I don't want to think too much about the stuff that I'm getting rid of. I'm just making quick decisions and just getting this done. And the thing is, this could kind of stress me out if I really thought about it too much. But the thing is, is that I'm actually feeling really good about what I'm accomplishing here. And I've got a lot of um, free space now. It's kind of cute. Um, I have a lot of free space in the bins now which is the ultimate goal. I'm trying to empty my craft closet and end up putting it just all in my bins and then not have so much in the closet because it never gets used because it never gets seen. All right, that's my keep for the orange and this is all the orange stuff I'm getting rid of. Pink. Okay, we've got four more left to do. We've got pink, red, blue and green. All right, right off the top, hearts can go. Silk flowers, no. A lot of these are the really thick card stuff. So there's my pink and this is everything I got rid of. It is the next day and I hope I have the same motivation I did yesterday. Here we have the red bucket. I need to do red, blue, and green and then I'm done with all these embellishments. So silk flowers can go, foam things can go, and I've got some sequins. Again, I'm not going to need them all. I'll just keep one. I like this little ticket thing. Merry Christmas, that's kind of cute. This is all frames and stuff, which I do not think I would use. So I'll keep this ribbon. I'll keep this stuff. It's a lot to keep. What am I doing? Okay, I have a whole bunch of cardinals. So let me keep a few of them. I like him because he's nice and chubby. So there's the red stuff I'm keeping. And this is all going away. And it's now green. These flowers are kind of cute, but those can go. Yeah, this can all go. This is what I'm keeping of green, and this is what's going. And the final bucket is blue, so I'll hang on to those. The foam can go, these frames can go, okay, a little jar, I like that. I love bugs. All the water stuff I like to keep. So here's what I'm keeping in blue. And this is what I'm getting rid of. So here's the bag next to me, completely full with all those embellishments. This side of the room, I have six empty bins. So proud of myself for that. And then on this side of the room, I have three empty bins. This one here is a junk drawer. It has charge cords. There's, oh my God, so much stuff in here. I got to go through. It's like a, basically a junk drawer. And then my iPhone 3 is in there. And then these two bins are now my embellishments. So I'm so proud of myself for that. I think what I might do though is take them from that and maybe put them in one of these drawers here. Um, just like one small drawer. And then when I'm working on uh, Project Life or whatever, I can just pull out the one drawer, um, have it on my space and, uh, and work from there. I think that would make sense just to have the one whole thing. I don't know, unless I divide these up by color or 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, these would these would be a smaller bin to deal with on my desk, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, hello. To go from 11 bins of stuff to two, I think I did pretty good. So I thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right, take care, guys. See ya.